DIY controls will show you a sample BayWeb installation. You'll need some basic installation tools as shown. In this case, one BayWeb thermostat is already installed and we're adding a second one. The BayWeb module essentially needs to be inserted into the existing run of wiring that goes between the thermostat and the HVAC unit. First turn your HVAC system's power off. Your HVAC equipment may or may not have relay boxes as shown in this installation. If not, that's okay. Just perform these same steps right on your main HVAC unit. First disconnect your existing thermostat's connection to the relay box or main HVAC unit. If your old thermostat is using more than five wires, you will probably need the advanced BayWeb model. Mark the wires with their terminal letters as you take them off. Then take those wires and connect them to the matching terminals on the thermostat side of the BayWeb. You will need a total of four wires between the module and the thermostat. If you only have two, add two more or replace with four conductor cable. Now the HVAC equipment needs to get connected to the furnace side of the BayWeb module. Here we're starting by making the connection at the relay box. If you don't have a relay box, make this connection on your main HVAC unit. Whenever possible, match terminal letters, such as R or G, to wire colors such as red or green. And here we're attaching the other end of those wires to the matching terminals on the BayWeb module. The green terminal blocks can be removed for easy wiring. The BayWeb module is labeled to indicate which wire colors go to which terminals. If you're using wiring that doesn't match these colors exactly, that's okay. Just be sure to label the wires so that you can match up the terminal letters accordingly. The BayWeb's internet connection can come directly from a router, as shown here, or you can use a Powerline Ethernet bridge kit to bring an internet service from another part of the house. The Powerline modules use existing electrical wiring to bring internet service to a new location. Now remove your old thermostat, marking the wires with their terminal letters as you remove them. Attach the wires in their appropriate places on the BayWeb keypad using the included wire nuts. Remember to add third and fourth wires if you don't already have them. Mount the keypad to the wall, spackle any holes if necessary, and that's it. Now you can power up your BayWeb module and go online to activate and control it. Mm -hmm.